Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Wabar Kakwadash, which Yahweh is Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's His true name. And Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, this is an article that's from RollingStone.com. And it's entitled, DOJ, which stands for Department of Justice, wants to suspend certain constitutional rights during coronavirus emergency. Okay, you see, Esau Edom, he's about to strip these constitutional rights from the people. And his justification is this uh, coronavirus, um, you know, pandemic that's going on, all right, which is a, uh, um, that's a man-made disease, okay, and this whole situation is a man-made um, event, okay? And, you know, they, they're playing with numbers. You know, they're playing with um, with information. And they're just, you know, pretty much putting everything on lockdown because they, uh, they're about to, you know, establish their new world order very, very soon, okay? And um, I want to start off with this scripture before uh, we read the article. This is Daniel chapter 8, verse 24. And his power shall be mighty, but not of his own, or not by his own. And this is talking about uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, okay? But and we know that Antiochus Epiphanes the fourth, he was uh, an Edomite, okay? So this represents Esau as a whole, all right? And they didn't get their power because they were so wise, they were so mighty. It's because the Heavenly Father has set them up, okay? And it says here, and he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and destroy the mighty in the holy people. Okay, so he's going to destroy wonderfully. All right, and in, in his works right now, he's going to prosper. And that's because the Heavenly Father is with him. Okay, but see, we're at the time period where his enterprise is going to fall and fail. All right, he thinks he's going to accomplish it, but once he thinks that, you know, his new world order is established... That's when the Lord is going to come back, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai. That's his real name in the, in the Paleo Hebrew. He's going to come and, you know, stop this man from uh, uh, from establishing that. Okay? I'm going to keep reading. And through his policy also shall cause craft to po uh, prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself and by peace uh, destroy many. So through his policies, which he's going to uh, uh, basically write up, okay, you know, he's going to, um, you know, put laws into place and, you know, he's going to um, enforce these laws that he, you know, makes and he's going to, um, it's going to allow him to prosper for a time period, okay? And he's going to uh, say that the reason why these things are happening and why he has to do these things is because it's for your peace and safety, okay? And that's basically what they're doing right now. They're going to um, strip constitutional rights because they're going to say that because of this coronavirus, they have to, um, you know, uh, you know, take over uh, um, whether it be public, all right, or private, you know, institutions, all right, you know, buildings, you know, vehicles, resources, so on and so forth, okay? They're going to say that, you know, because a lot of riots are going to occur. They're going to say, look, we're going to need to put you on a curfew due to the fact that there's too many riots and it's too dangerous out and about. They're going to quarantine areas and say, look, you can't, you know, uh, pass this particular uh, region because you might have the virus. And we don't want to infect those that are in this particular region over here. Okay. See, he's going to do these things, and he's going to say it's because of for peace, but really, he's going to destroy many. You know, this martial law, all right, which when you look up that word martial, it goes into war, uh, uh, war, all right, like, uh, that is basically what it means, warlike. So martial law means warlike laws, and what happens during war? There's a lot of death, okay, there's a lot of um, pillaging, you know, rioting, so on and so forth. It's a very ugly and scary in destructive time, man, when you're in war, all right? And it says here, he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And that's when Yahweh Shai comes, because he, he is the prince of princes. He is um, 
basically the second in command, all right? The the the, the top okay, cuz you got heaven the heavenly father Yahweh which is the top of the uh, of everything. All right, and below him is Yahweh Shai, all right? All right? And this man's going to try to fight Yahweh Shai in that time and he's going to lose. Now I want to um read this. It says the Department of Justice has secretly asked Congress for the ability to detain arrested people I uh indefinitely in addition to other powers that one expert called terrifying. So they're going to um basically detain you um uh pretty much without reason, okay? If they feel that you're a threat to the uh, uh the government, they will detain you. They can call you a, a domestic terrorist. And they don't have to give you a um a uh, um a release date pretty much. You know, they did that during um a 9/11. They started arresting, you know, these so-called Arabs, all right? And they started throwing them where? In uh, Gu uh um, places like Guantanamo Bay. You know, that's an example. And these other um you know, these other sites where they uh, uh place people, okay? Where you don't get to see your lawyer. You don't get to see a court. You 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 can't present any evidence. All right? It's whatever they say goes. And they're going to do that. Except now they're going to what they're going to do is they're going to lock down the United States and they're just going to start snatching people up and they're going to throw them into where? These concentration camps and they're going to say it's, you know, uh, FEMA camps, you know. And pretty much all these like um major companies are in alliance with uh, uh, the government, you know, with the Walmarts, the Targets, the Menards, the Home Depots, these big warehouses. They're going to use those for uh, detention centers. You know, the, all your uh, sports arenas. All right, so on and so forth. They're going to use these places to detain people. Okay. And I'm going to keep reading here. It says, uh, the Trump Department of Justice has asked Congress to create... Uh, to craft legislation allowing chief judges to indefinitely hold people without trial and suspend other constitutional, constitutionally protected rights during coronavirus and other emergencies. And you see, it said coronavirus, coronavirus and other emergencies. So we know that other things are going to come about. There, there might be more diseases that um, uh, spring up. You might have um, uh, more riots. Because they can say that, oh, we have to shut down these places due to... A uh, 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 civil unrest, insurrections, okay. You know, uh, uh, basically, uh, during times of uh, famines and hardships, all right, they can do all these things. So we know these things are coming, according to a report by uh, Politico's Betsy Woodruff Swan. All right, it says, uh, while the ask from the D Departments of Justice will likely not come to fruition with a democratical control. Controlled House of Representatives, they demonstrate how much this White House has a frightening uh, dis, uh, uh, disregard for rights enumerated in the Constitution. And look, they always say like, oh, the Democrats, Republicans, look, there are two heads on the same beast, okay? It doesn't matter um, what they say, okay? When they get orders, when they get uh, uh, told what to do from uh, uh, from their superiors, they're going to act on it. And there's going to be no division. They're going to be in alliance. Okay? All right. Now I want to, um, I'm going to keep reading this a little bit. It says, the DOJ has requested Congress allow any chief justice of a di district court to pause court uh, proceedings. Whenever the district court is fully or partially closed by virtue of any natural disaster, civil disobedience, or other emergency situations, you see, and they're gonna um, create these things, according to draft language obtained by Politico, this would be applicable to any st uh, statutes or rules of procedure otherwise affecting pre-arrest, post-arrest, pre-trial, or trial, or post-trial procedures in criminal or juvenile proceedings and all civil pr uh, processes. And proceedings, they justify this by saying, um, currently, uh, judges can pause judicial proceedings in an emergency. By the new legislation, uh, would allow them to apply it in a uh, consistent manner. All right, see, all this stuff is coming down the pipeline now. Let me go down. Let me say, uh, yeah, let me go down. Um, because there was something that I saw. 
There's something. Here we go. This is. Yeah, right here. It says, as coronavirus spreads through the country, activists are calling on politicians in office to release prisoners and immigrants held in detention centers, both of which can be a hotbed of virus activity with so many people in close quarters and limited or non-existent supplies of soap, sanitizers, and uh, productive equipment. Some st And see, they, they want people... Um, bunched up because they actually want these people to get the, uh, these diseases all right because they're trying to de depopulate the uh, um, the world right now it says some states have already begun to do so but this but with that the Trump administration has taken steps to hold more people in prison for an undetermined amount of time showing their priority is not saving lives but giving themselves more power all right you see th these things all right aren't for your benefit. And they don't care about the people. All right, they don't. Now I want to get this. This is um, Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. And this is Esau, all right, you know, and destruction unto him for doing these things. You know, he's the one that uh, destroyed him that destroyed the earth, as the scriptures talk about in Revelation. All right, and you have... um. Um, you know, this scripture here, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Because look, they're the ones in power, all right? They're the ones who are writing these laws down. They actually sit there, think about what to do, all right, how things are going to plan out. They're going to, they do test runs so they can get their statistics, you know, on point, you know. And, and they sit there and, you know, they, uh, they've they been doing this for, uh, you know, years upon years. They do test runs so they know how the people are going to react. They know, um, how things are going to play out, you know, and they write all these things down and they, you know, uh, uh, and they put it into, you know, the law and they, uh, um, they, uh, uh, practice it, you know, they enforce it. Okay. But they're the ones who are doing this and they, the Lord's going to destroy them for this. All right. This stuff is wicked. This is wicked. You see the, you people out here. You're about to uh, uh, realize that this guy is not your friend and he is the wicked. You cannot trust these people. This is Revelation chapter 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And we're in that time period. He's about to come down with that great wrath. And, and it's going to be very, very ugly out here, you know? This guy's not, you know, he's not going to play fair. He never has and never will. His whole entire history is nothing but backstabbing, all right? Betrayal, you know, murdering. You know, he does things unjustly. That's the, that's the man that you're, you're dealing with, okay? And his blessing is the sword, so all his, you know, his toys that he has uh, created, you know, these drones, you know, all this, you know, biological warfare, all these guns, bombs, you know, super soldiers, you know, uh, missiles, all that. He's going to use them. And this is because this is his time to reign, you know, and he, they, through the spirit of the Lord, man, you know, he the, uh, he's given them that power. And also he's going to strip away that power. The Lord is going to put this man down. Okay. But, you know, hey. We just got to be prepared. And uh, you know what? Let's end it off with this revelation, um, the uh, t uh, second chapter. Because, you know, a little, you know, some of us are going to get detained. You know, but we, we can't be afraid. This is uh, Revelation ten or 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. So we're not supposed to have that spirit of fear on us. Look, if you do get det uh, detained, Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Might uh, uh, have you saved, all right? The Lord can uh, um, perform, you know, miracles, have the angels come and save you at that very last moment. And if you, let's say if you do uh, die, okay? You're you're dying for Yahweh Hashem Yahashai. And look, this place that you're, uh, uh, that you're in, there's nothing here for you anyways. And why would you want to uh, um, live in a place that's going to be destroyed? All right? And, 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 and be a slave. You know, what's the point of that? No, oh, hey, hey uh, die with integrity, you know? The Lord's, the Lord's going to reward us. You see, these people, they only believe that you live once. 
You know, that's why they have, they call it the, the YOLO, you know, you only live once. But see, in the scriptures, it tells you that there's reincarnation, that we come back, you know, our spirit, you know, you know, departs from this body, this flesh that we're in, this present flesh that we're in. We go back to the Heavenly Father, and then the Lord, once, you know, we're, uh, um, he sends us down, he gives us a new body, all right, when we're born. So the Lord's going to reward us if we die for him. Okay? I'm going to uh, read it again. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of the, these, uh, those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. See, some of us are going to go into prison. Not all of us. All right? The Lord's going to protect uh, a lot of uh, brothers. But some are going to have to, you know, deal with this. And they, they're they going to get a mighty reward in, in, in the end. Their name is going to be exalted. You know? That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. But thou, but it says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's what we're, uh, uh, um, that's what we want. That's what that's what the goal is, right? We want to strive, all right, uh, for the truth unto death. Even if it means that we get, you know, put to death, okay. And look how it said there: the Lord's going to give us a crown of life. Lord's gonna make if if a man dies for you, Hashem Al Shai, that man's gonna uh, uh, great uh, get great dominion. He's gonna have a great position in, in the kingdom. The Lord's not gonna forget that. You know, that's a beautiful thing. And um, I'm gonna um end it off with that. And hey, you know, hey, hey get ready, stuff is coming. Okay, this man is coming down. You know, uh, with all these laws. It's going to st uh, strip away our, our so-called constitutional rights, okay? You know, it's going to get more hectic out here. It's not uh, It's not going to be a, a pleasant time, okay? But with that, you know, we're going to end it off. You know, hey, just stay faithful. Just keep praying. Just keep staying focused. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom.